Live from San Juan, Puerto Rico, it's theCUBE, covering Blockchain Unbound. Brought to you by Blockchain Industries. Okay, welcome back, and we're here live in Puerto Rico for the cryptocurrency, global blockchain, decentralized internet, uh, CUBE coverage in Puerto Rico, part of Blockchain Unbound. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE here, also co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media Inc. And we're here with a first CUBE ever, father-son uh, CUBE segment, where we're going to kind of break down a summary of the show, but mainly um, get the take from a 22-year-old. Here with me is my son, Alec Furrier, who's been doing the schedule and greeting all the guests. Alec has been also demoing our platform that we haven't formally announced, but also, uh, not that we have to, but it's out there. Uh, the Cube platform, all the back-end data, because it really is getting everyone here excited. So Alec, welcome to the Cube. Thanks, great to be on, finally, after all these years, <laughs> to be on, it's an honor. Well, thanks for all the hard work you did on the schedule, but you're a young gun, you're 22 years old. This is an exciting crypto world for your generation. What's your reaction to the commentary you've heard, the stories you've heard? What's the young perspective on cryptocurrency, blockchain? What's the view? Totally, it's a totally crazy culture, right? So there's a very big influx of young talent and talented minds at that, right? And this is really changing the revolution landscape is accelerating the tech. These ideas are being freely shared, whereas before there was bottlenecks in the collaboration aspect of the technological field. Right. You're a gamer, I know that. So you're, so you're, the, you're in the young ecosystem. You don't care about data lakes and data centers and cloud computing. What does your generation look at this as an opportunity? What's exciting about it? What's, what's, the, what's the perspective? Well, there's multiple perspectives. The main two, I'd say, there's multiple perspectives. The main two, is one, there's a shit ton of way to make money, and you know, is there a scam? Is there a risk for my business? You know, blockchain's involved, and there's a little bit of that mumbo jumbo going along, but then there's also the other side that are really into it and really applying the tech and know that this is the best way to collaborate with peers, right? What's the coolest thing you've seen? The coolest thing I've seen is probably Hashgraph, which is actually not on the blockchain, a competitor to the blockchain, and that's actually increasing speeds and pretty much making the tech, the back-end infrastructure better. So you dropped out of UCSB, you're going to maybe go back to school, but you're also working as a product manager for the R Crypto project for SiliconANGLE Media, the Cube, Cube Network. You were giving demos. What, is, what are we doing? How would you explain what we're doing? And what were some of the reactions to the demo that you were giving? All great reactions so far. People are very excited what we're building, which is a reputation centrality metric. And what this does is it allows us to track what users are talking about and where they're talking about it and actually rank their reputation leaderboard rankings by topic, by frequency, by impact down river in the entire network. And that allows us to appropriate connections between two people who have different social, culture, and professional topics that they talk about and allow them to create more value for the entire platform, for the community, and more importantly, themselves. What, is, what does it mean, what problem are we solving? So we are solving the Facebook ad word problem of the old generation, which is you, as a user, do not own your data. Right? Yeah. So now, what we have is this user base struggling to find the monetary value in their social media platforms. But now, we are actually offering a way for them to reverse the paradigm and get paid for interacting with others creating with others and contributing to the community through all their social media outlets. What was the biggest thing that people reacted to in the demos, the variety of tools we showed them? What was the number one, a couple things that they reacted to, what jumped out at you? So, I would say what jumped out is how blown away these people are. They really are, you know, elevated in their mindset when they think about these concepts because it expands their mind and when they realize that I can go and expand someone else's mind, and their mind will essentially contribute to the entire community. And everyone's going to grow from one initial idea. What are you working on the project? Please share with the, the, the folks what you've been working on. What specific things did you do and you're managing? Uh, what's unique about the, the technology? 
share some uh, color commentary on, on the project. Yeah, so right now we have a couple projects going, and for now, I'll just talk about the platform side of things, which is the more futuristic vision. Specifically, we are creating trending communities so we could actually auto-generate stories based on Twitter API data, right? And also our own platform has even more complex metrics, which we will be rewarding people for. So people will get rewards for using our platform more than Twitter, but we could still have native content versus in-network content being weighed differently. And so what we're doing is we're adding metrics of weighted value with a contextual layer on top through natural language processing and machine learning. So are some people saying, oh, you're like Steam? How do you respond to that? We, we are not like Steam. Steam is extremely uh, powerhousey in its momentum, and it doesn't actually do topic weighing, right? So, and we also value attention of the crowd. So what we're working on is, what do people influence with their reputation? Whereas Steam, it's like, where do people contribute? How much do they contribute? And so what we want to do is we say, hey, you know, if I get upvotes on Reddit, that should be you know, weighed in the network somewhere else, right? Instead of having an overall karma, we should just have one inter integrated karmic aspect of, of uh, topicality so that if my karma, or I'm using karma as an analogy because Reddit has the upvotes, yeah. karma, downvotes, karma. So, so what about blockchain? Why are we, so how would you explain to someone, okay, you're the cube, what is the blockchain, what does crypto mean for us? Uh, so blockchain, we're using it to add a layer of trust and security to our network. So we want transparency within our network, and that means we have to have a ledger for every single engagement interaction, like retweet on the network, right? And the crypto, the token, is, does what? Crypto token will pretty much be able to be cashed out through Ethereum, right, ERC-20, but it will also have a weighted role in our two-sided marketplace, Bounty Ask Buy, and that'll be the main medium of where people identify and exchange their reputation. How would you describe our platform to a user out there if they say, what do you like or what are you disrupting? What aren't you like? What are you guys doing? What are you disrupting? And why would I want to use your platform? Yeah, so I think we're disrupting you know, multiple companies, right? And the one I really associate with is a professional Steemit meets Brave browser, BatToke, versus Steam, right? So bad is attention only and attention is valuable. I'm here with you, you have a 20 minute interview with me, that's your attention, that's valuable. But it's much more valuable than someone else who isn't interviewing, let's just say someone who's less fortunate. But that's also a real time aspect. So there's a time variable, there's a network variable, and there's a topicality variable. You know, the social graph, you got the interest graph, and then the value graph on top. So Alex, so if you had to describe what we do in one sentence, what would it be? Putting you on the spot. In one sentence, I would say we would call it a decentralized media platform with rewards for the user base based on reputation. All right, my son Alec Furry is also involved in our crypto project, part of the Cube Network coming soon. Obviously the Cube is here at a crypto conference and what better way to align with the crypto community than demoing our token enabled platform. Congratulations to you, Narendra, Kent, Jeff and the team doing a great job with the Cube Network. Uh, the Cube alumni are all going to get coins, right? <laughs> Not yet decided, but great work. Alec, thanks for uh, sharing. It's the Cube here in Puerto Rico. I'm John Furrier, my son Alec. Thanks for watching. <laughs>